I'm going to suggest that you bring that sign in. I'm really worried about <laughs> yeah. the cars. Yeah. Um, I wrote down a lot of stuff. I just came back from the AMA conference, the convention, their interim meeting. My husband's the delegate, I'm the spouse. But because I'm a doctor, I get to go to the meetings too, because I'm also a member of the AMA. And the Council on Long Range Planning, over the last year, has interviewed folks from six different countries. They interviewed five folks from the Medical Association of each one of those countries. Australia, Canada, I'm going to forget, <laughs> Thailand, France, Great Britain, and Taiwan. And they asked them four questions. They asked them, what's your system about? Okay. And by the way, the Canadian system only covers medical care, doesn't cover dental, doesn't cover prescriptions, and doesn't cover medical equipment. So when you hear people complain about paying for their prescriptions in Canada, where the drugs are a tenth of what they are here, you know, okay. <laughs> so they ask them, what's your system? They ask them, what does it do for patients or not do for patients? What does it do for doctors and not do for doctors? And what are your suggestions? I gave Representative Gerlach's uh, staffer a copy of those items. It's long. But the bottom line is that the advantages of a single payer system. And you know, I would like to propose that all of you go to your congresspersons and say, take Medicare. I'm a senior citizen. I'm on Medicare. I've never had such good insurance in my life. Okay? Take Medicare, extend it, lower it down by 10 years, from 65 to 55, then to 45 each year, and cover more folks. Thank you, yes. <laughs> and put the, con the, the Congress on that plan. Okay, one of the congressmen suggested it. It got vetoed, but it was suggested from within their body. If we do that, it phases it in slowly. The concern about access to care is if you phase it in too rapidly, there's too many people needing care and they won't get the care. So we need to we need to go slowly. We need to learn from our mistakes as we do it. And some of the and, and along with that needs to go some equalization of payments to the providers. To primary care, we need more in order to serve people. And in order to get more folks in, they need to be compensated. We've got primary care physicians in Berks County that have put their own money into their practices rather than getting paid themselves. Okay. The insur my reimbursement from the insurance company since 1980, I got $35 for a visit. In 2009, I just got raised to 62. Your premiums have gone up by more than 200% in that period of time. Okay, so don't take it out on your doctors, please. The advantages of that kind of a system are that the stress from bad debts and it is stress for all of us, you all know that, for both the doctors and the people, goes away. Yes, we may be getting less, but we get it. We know we're going to get paid. You know that you're going to be covered. And those are two sources of major stress.